running and running and running, 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 running and running. And yes, I wanted to keep that moving, but I don't have time for that. Okay, so welcome to Prep Stats. We are starting the year, so welcome, welcome. Let's talk about what this video is about. This video is about, yes, we are starting here. What is stats? What is data? So the objective of this first video is that we are trying to determine who, what, when, where, and how the data is, con um, is collected, recognizing when the information has not been provided, and looking at categorical and quantitative data a little. So we already established that statistics is the science of data, and when, it co when we collect data, the whole thing is data can vary. So if I collect data from different sources, different classrooms, it's not going to be the same. Also remember, as we discussed, you have to think, you have to know why you're doing it and where you're going with this information. You need to show your calculations. You need to make your pretty pictures. We'll be discussing more of that. And you need to be able to articulate what you've learned, be able to explain it, and understand what the heck you're talking about. We also established the data is useless if you don't have context. And we, dis um, decide, we discussed that in order for it to be good statistical information, all of these have to be answered in a valid way. We have to remember it's not about numbers anymore, context, context, context. With that being said, again, numbers that are collected are useless without the context. So, let's go Okay, I was interrupted on that video, so I lost my trend of thought. But let's go to page four of your notes, number 14. Read that scenario, and let's be prepared to state what the who, what, why, when, where, and how is. Okay, so as we look at who, we can see that who is going to be the students. And let me um, start this in a different way because I don't like what I just did. Okay, let's look at what the scenario is. We have the state school department requires that local school districts keep these records. So that's the state thing. Okay, um, in all the schools, so we're talking about age, race, ethnicity, days, absent, grade levels, okay, test scores, disabilities, and needs, okay? And honestly, guys, that is your what? Going to your who is going to be, of course, you can see that it's students. Your what is everything that I highlighted. And you know what? Students is right here. I'm going to color code that. Okay, why did we do it? Because they established that the state requires it. Okay, and I would also say, well, maybe I'm assuming points um, not in it, assuming information not given, but I know that at Awanda, we do it because we want to improve ourselves. Okay, when? It could be current, and the reason... Some of you might be thinking, well, Yarbrough, they really didn't tell us when. Well, what's the point of having information like this if you're not going to utilize it to make a change? Or if the state wants this information, they don't want information from 10 years ago. So that's why I said current. Where? I don't know what schools. I, it just says the state education department. So um, 
And maybe we could say maybe local schools. Yeah, we could say local schools. And lastly, here, how school records. Because I have a lot of information on you guys. All I got to do is, you know, click and flip it in, in the computer. So this is all the information that you were that you gave to the school when you, um, you know, fill out the different surveys, etc. Now I want you to do number fifteen. And try it on your own, and we will be discussing it tomorrow in class. So, T-T-F-N. T-T-F-N. Ta-ta for now. Peace out.